Hello students. Greetings to all of you. Today we will solve the fifth problem in case of flexible budget. This problem has come for 2015 question paper. The following information relates to the manufacture of 5000 units of a product for a variation of 20% in capacity above or below. That is this particular problem information whatever is given in the question is based upon 5000 units so whatever the material cost labor cost power repair and maintenance etc are given is for 5000 units so currently the organization have engaged in 5000 units production capacity this level the individual cost varies as indicated under b below there are two columns we have column a and column b Column B clearly specifies the varying capacity. How many percent is fixed and how many percent is variable. So column B specifies the variable and fixed nature. So we have material 25,000, 100% variable. Labor 16,000, 100% variable. So students, let me stop here and give you some instruction. In case of variable cost, you should take per unit. I repeat in case of variable cost you should take per unit next power 80 percent variable 20 percent fixed fixed you should take total variable you should take per unit repairs and maintenance 75 percent variable stores 100 percent variable inspection 20 percent variable then 80 percent will be fixed depreciation 100 percent fixed selling overhead 50 percent variable then 50 percent will be fixed next administration overhead 25 percent variable then 75 percent will be fixed cost per unit is 12 rupee 50 paisa so here in the question they are given the cost is 12 rupee 50 paisa Prepare a flexible budget for production of 4,000 units, 5,000 units and 6,000 units. So students, this particular problem, we need to prepare a budget for 4, 5 and 6,000 units. So students, this is a small working note. We need to go for totally, we need to go for 8 working notes. Why we should go for 8 working notes? Only one working note we are not doing. That is depreciation. Because depreciation is 100% fixed cost. Fixed cost we take total. I repeat fixed cost we take total. Therefore, we ignore fixed cost, depreciation, working note. Remaining 8 working notes we are given. In the question, totally 9 items are given. But we do working note only for 8. So first let us go for a working note in case of power. Power 80% variable then 20% fixed. So how do you calculate fixed cost? It's uh, power is 1250 into 20%. So you get 250 as fixed cost. Because in case of fixed cost, you should take total. So 250 is fixed cost. Variable, it's 1250 divided by 5000 into 80%. I repeat, 1250 divided by 5000 into 80%. So you get 20 paisa as fixed. Sorry, 20 paisa as variable so in case of variable you take per unit in case of fix it you take total so students 1250 divided by 5000 why divided by 5000 because we need to calculate per unit so 1250 divided by 5000 into 80 percent is variable so you get 20 paisa Next, repairs and maintenance. Total repairs and maintenance is 2000. 
in that 75 percent is variable 25 percent is fixed so fix it 2000 into 25 percent 500 fixed we want total so we don't divide by 5000 units variable it's 2000 in divided by 5000 why we divide by 5000 to find out per unit variable we require per unit so we divide by 5000 units into 75 percent we get 30 paisa inspection inspection total is 500 in that 80 percent is fixed and 20 percent is variable so 500 into 80 percent you get 400 we don't divide by 5000 units because we don't want per unit we want total if you want per unit divided by 5000 units variable cost it's 500 divided by 5000 into 75 percent you get two paisa similarly calculate for soh selling over it total 5000 3000 3050 percent is fixed and 50 percent is variable so 3000 into 50 percent 1500 variable 3000 divided by 5000 units into 50 percent you get 30 paisa similarly calculate for administration overhead so all these are semi variable a part is variable a part is fixed and another important thing students all yellow highlighted is fixed cost for 5000 units and all blue highlighted is a variable cost for 5000 units so the working note what we have done is for 5000 units material 100 percent variable variable we require per unit okay so so how much is a variable cost material 5 rupee how you get 5 rupee that's 25,000 divided by 5,000 units you get 5 rupee labor 100 percent variable it's 15,000 divided by 5000 you get 3 rupee stores 1000 rupees divided by 5000 units you get 20 paisa variable okay so all these variable is based on 5000 fixed is also based on 5000 students in this particular problem we are not doing as per the cost sheet because we have too many number of information like power repair depreciation so we prepare a flexible budget separate fixed cost separate variable cost and then we find the total cost how do you find total cost fixed cost plus variable cost so here we are not doing as per cost sheet we are doing fixed cost separate and variable cost separate so this is the flexible budget first we go for 4000 units then 5000 units then 6000 units we have total per unit total for 5000 per unit total for 6000 per unit so students this is a flexible budget for total cost look at the center column we have 5000 units so we have done the calculation in the previous slides power 250 500 inspection 400 depreciation 10000 selling over at 1500 and administration over at 3750 fixed cost total always remain constant so in case of fixed cost we should take total so same 250 500 400 10000 1500 3750 we take it for 4000 units same we take even for 6000 units for example you look power power is fixed cost will be 250 for 4000 250 for 5000, 250 for 6000. Repair 500 rupees for 4000, 500 rupees for 5000, 500 rupees for 6000. So fixed cost total will not change irrespective of output. So 250 divided by 4000, you get 6 paisa. 500 divided by 4000, you get 12 paisa. 400 divided by 4000, you get 10 paisa. 10,000 divided by 4,000, you get 2 rupee 50 paisa. 1,500 divided by 4,000, you get 37 paisa. 
3750 divided by 4000 you get 93 paisa similarly for 5000 it's 250 divided by 5000 units you get 5 paisa 500 divided by 5000 you get 10 paisa 400 divided by 5000 you get 8 paisa 10,000 divided by 5,000 you get 2 rupees. 1,500 divided by 5,000 you get 30 paise. 3,750 divided by 5,000 you get 75 paise. Similarly, like that you calculate for 6,000 units. So total fixed cost 16,400, 16,400, 16,400. Fixed cost will remain fixed in case of total, whatever may be the output. This is a statement regarding variable cost. Students in case of variable cost, kindly remember, per unit will remain same. Per unit will not change. It will remain same. So, per in, once again, let me explain you students. In case of fixed cost, total will be fixed. In case of variable cost, per unit will be fixed. As explained earlier, in case of variable cost, per unit will remain constant. So we get, see, first two column is about 4,000 units. The next two column is about 6,000 units. And the next two column is about 6,000 units. So students, see whatever the blue highlighted we have is for 5,000 units. It will be same for 4,000 units. It will be same for 6,000 units. Example, you take material. It's 5 rupee into 4,000, 20,000. 5 rupee into 5,000, 25,000. And 5 rupee into 6,000, 30,000. Labor, it's 3 rupee into 4,000, 12,000. 3 rupee into 5,000, 15,000. 3 rupee into 6,000, it's 18,000. Similarly, you calculate the same for other expenditures. The total variable cost is 37,080, 46,350, 55,620. Now, let me clarify students. In case of previous slide, fixed cost total will be constant. In case of variable, per unit will be constant. See here for 4000 is 9 rupee 47 paise. For 5000 is 9 rupee 47 paise. For 6000 also it's 9 rupee 47 paise. So to conclude, fixed cost total will be constant. Variable per unit will be constant. So total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost. You get 53,480, 62,750, 72,020. So kindly try this problem students. Any doubts, please contact me. Thank you.